Gretchen Spittler and Tony Trinchera of Rochester, New York, have been married for six years. Gretchen, how does Tony look when he's dressed up? Oh, I think he cleans up nice. Gretchen adores Tony from head to toe. Well, almost. But if there's one element of his wardrobe that isn't working, what is it? <laughs> uh, Tony has trouble with his socks. Tony, is that right? Yes. Tony doesn't seem to give a darn about his socks. You'll wear one pair of socks for how long? Years. If I'm walking on a tile floor and I can feel the cold right there on my heels, then, you know then I know it's pretty much done. <laughs> yeah. But for Tony, a college professor, finding dress socks that fit properly is no mean feat. How would you describe the shape of Tony's feet? I don't know if this is fair, but it almost looks like you could fit a sixth toe in the width of his foot. Yes. <laughs> Do socks matter? Absolutely. And menswear designer Vivek Negrani should know. His socks have been hailed by the fashion world and adorned the feet of an American president. The man who's wearing carefully chosen socks is sending a message that says what? That he pays attention to detail. You naturally will start to think of that person a little bit different. You start to almost see an insight into his personality. Maybe that person's a bit creative, right? yes. an out-of-the-box thinker. Yes, and this is what gives the man an opportunity to, be, to quietly express himself. Negrani sells his brand of high-end hosiery for men out of his New York City boutique. Prices start at $35 a pair, using only the best of fabrics. Baby alpaca, feel this. Oh. Precision design. This is a substantial amount of stretch band. It actually feels like someone's massaging your foot. And there's a pair for pretty much any occasion. We created a sock designed for leisure space travel. So this is one small step for man, one giant leap for sock wear. Exactly. <laughs> when did people start wearing socks? From the Stone Age, from the beginning of time. Stephen Frumkin is a dean at New York's Fashion Institute of Technology. The Egyptians are the first, I believe, where you could actually find a knitted form of a footwear that went in between the skin and a sandal. Socks became commonplace in the 1500s with the invention of the knitting machine. My father would always wear black, sometimes blue socks. I don't remember him ever wearing a patterned sock. I think if you go back to the 20s, there was the wealthier people wore socks that went along with their outfits that they wore. Plain, simple men wore block socks. I think you can match it. Men today have a stunning variety of socks to stuff in their drawers. But Frumpkin says it's often the women in their lives who are footing the bill when it comes to more adventurous sock wear. I mean, if you look at some of the socks that are out there today with the funky little patterns that are on there, I don't think most men would think about wearing that, but I think they wear it because that's been given to them as a gift. Which brings us back to Tony and Gretchen and designer Vivek Negrani. If I may, his feet are very atypically shaped. Wow. That's a situation. Mm-hmm. Why don't we have you try on a pair of red socks? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. How does that feel? That feels good. Tony jumped in with both feet. Would you now consider something with a pattern? Um, I think so, if it was the right pattern, you know, for me. That, that looks great. I think I would wear that to work. I would wear that to work. Well, that's change. Wow, that look nice. at you, compared to what you walked in here with. Yeah, who'd have thought, huh? Oh. These are nice, oh, those are great. Those are... Gretchen, is this the man you met nine years ago? <laughs> he is much more open-minded than the man I met nine years ago. Wow. Your feet look great, love. Okay.